Okay, Jeff, let's get caught up on what's going on with the Celtics here. A nice come from behind win over Cleveland. Jalen Brown gets tossed in the Knicks game. Uh, let's start with their schedule and like playing teams back to back and yeah. not having, you know, I think it's kind of Cleveland. weird. I don't, yeah, what's up yeah. with that? I don't know. I don't like it either. It, I don't it like just, it. No, I don't either. I mean, again, I don't know. It, it just, unless it's the playoffs, I, I just don't see the value in it other than, I mean, maybe saving some money, which these NBA teams aren't all that concerned about. I wouldn't um, think so. But yeah, you got Cleveland back to back here. A really good team that I'd rather have that that game, honestly, later in the year. I, I would rather not have it back to back this early. Um, you know, and again, part of it is too, like if you're banged up, right? One team is going to have a significant advantage if they're healthier at that point in time. You get them twice. Right. And who knows? I mean, this Cleveland team is, they're fun to watch. They're obviously without Mobley. And he's a super talented big um, who, who's just gotten better and better quickly. Like I, I expected it to take a little bit longer with him. Uh, great, great defensive player, not an alpha, but they have their alpha in, in, in Donovan Mitchell. I'm not sure Donovan's like a good enough alpha to lead them deep, deep into the playoffs, but he's made, he's helped make Cleveland relevant right now. And they're a fun, fun team to watch. A lot of fun teams to watch in the East uh, this year, as we've seen. FanDuel is the exclusive wagering partner of the CLNS Media Network. Right now, new customers get $150 in bonus bets with any winning $5 Moneyline bet. FanDuel, official partner of the NFL. So, this was also a game that I think the Celtics lose a year ago. Um, you know, they put the pedal to the metal in the final two minutes, made some key shots at the end, and put it away, which I thought was very impressive. I also heard Jason Tatum speak about how this team is, isn't about your stats. It, it, he, he said all of us could have higher scoring averages. He didn't say right. himself. He didn't say himself. He said all of us could have higher scoring averages, but he, but he says – Everyone is doing what's best for the team. Yeah, I mean, I think you've got enough guys that, that again, are adults now, right? I mean, right. Drew Holiday was always an adult. He was an adult, you know, first time I met him at UCLA. Uh, Porzingis has grown up. You know, if you talk to people close to Porzingis, they will say, hey, listen, early on in the league, he was immature. He had to kind of figure it out. And really, in what way was he immature? I'm curious. You know, I think the people around him and so much came to him so quickly in New York, young, you know, a lot of pressure, um, you know, and, and he had success early too. And then the injuries. And then I think his. So he was arrogant. He got a swell head. I, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't know if it was arrogance is the right word. It just, again, maybe had the wrong people around him too. Mm -hmm. And now it sounds like he's got the right people around him. And again, he, he went through losing at the, the highest level last year, uh, you know, Derek White, we know, like Derek White is like the ultimate Man. dude. But Jeff, I got to tell you, I always liked him as a player, but now I love him. He's raised his game. How can you not? How can you not? Level. Oh, it's a whole new level. Listen, what what can you say negative about Derek White? Like you literally you about anything right now. I mean, think of this dude, what he's done. Even the last four games, I, I looked at it. He's averaging like 22 points a game. 20 assists, seven turnovers. He's shooting 50% from three. He hasn't missed a free throw in the four games, by the way. 16 to 16. Oh, my God. Last lot. night, they were perfect, right? Right. Like, he plays great defense. He's the ultimate team player. And remember, when everybody was like, oh, 18 million or whatever he was getting paid, we're overpaying. And, and yet, it looked like we were overpaying for him when, when he first got traded. He was awful. Right. But he, he is, like – almost like a creature of habit type of player where like he needs to kind of figure out his routine, who he's playing with, where they want the ball, you know, doesn't want to step on toes. And now everybody, and I remember Damon Stoudemire telling me this preseason last year, he was like, trust me, like Derek White's going to be the guy he's different this year. And uh, so him and Drew are, are the ultimate pros Porzingis has matured right um 
Tatum and Jalen Brown have matured. They both got their payday, right? That helps as well. Um, but but I think they've understood too, like, all right, we need help. And we don't we don't want to keep we keep going deep. But if we don't win this whole thing, we're going to get criticized no matter what our numbers are. Ultimately, it's going to be about winning a title for us. And when you bring in those type of guys, or in Hortford, Al is all about team, and he always has been. So it's like hard. It's hard to be selfish and immature and about your own numbers when you're playing with dudes like Drew Holiday, like Derek White, like Al Hortford that are just like the consummate pros, all about the right things. So I think now, here, here's the biggest difference. Here it is, Gary. It's not hard to figure. Now you're surrounding these stars in, in Tatum and Jalen Brown with good role models. Professionals. You weren't doing that. You had Kyrie. You had guys that just weren't, you know, even like Marcus Smart was flammable. He could be good, but he wasn't like a, a great leader. He, he, listen, all you had to do was watch him on the court jack up all those threes and say like come on man if if you were super unselfish you would not be taking these shots do you think holiday has found his groove a little bit yeah he's getting better and better and he doesn't need again he doesn't need to be a guy that's scoring a lot of points that's not his role he understands that at this point in his career i mean he he had a couple defensive plays last night uh that were just at, at the highest level and and that's kind of you know, again, he's never been a guy that really cares about the fanfare, the attention, or any right. of that. It, it's about winning another title for him. And and he knows, like, if he just plays his role, he's going to have, you know, one out of every, like, three or four games where he'll go for 20. But for the most part, yeah, he's going to probably go, you know, 10, 12, 14, five assists, you know, playing great defense. And nobody's going to really talk about him. But at the end of the day, he's going to be an integral part of, of the culture, the fabric, the, the DNA of this team.